Multi-view diffusion, the first part of the pipeline. Not all pipelines use this, and it's more related to diffusion than to 3D. And there's already a course on that. So in this section, I'll be keeping it high level, focusing on tools and ecosystems, so you can set up your own multi-view diffusion demo. Part 1, Google Colab. We'll be starting off with Google Colab, so you can walk through the concepts with examples, even if you don't have your own GPU. Just follow the link, and you'll see this. Then go to Runtime, change Runtime Type, and select the free GPU. Now click this button to install all prerequisites. So what is multi-view diffusion? It's a type of diffusion model, a model that generates images, but instead of being trained on regular images, it's trained on multiple views of an object from different perspectives. This is useful for 3D, but it doesn't just work out of the box. It often has a problem called the Yanis problem, where everything has multiple faces. But state-of-the-art multi-view models like MVDream address this issue using specialized techniques. I won't be going into specifics since it's more related to diffusion than to 3D, but if you want to dive deeper, then check out the diffusion course. In our case, we'll be using a pre-trained pipeline with this code. This line is the name of the model we're loading. With any model, you can go to hf.co slash whatever the name is to see the original. Also, in this case, we need to use a custom pipeline since Diffusers doesn't officially support 3D. Now let's test the pipeline. With this code, we load an image. It's a cat statue. Then with this code, we pass the image into our pipeline. This returns an array of four images, then displays them in a grid. Press play. It works. Now what about hosting my own model? Go to hf.co, log in, or create an account. Then go to new, model. Enter a name like multi-view diffusion. Click create. Now using git, duplicate the multi-view diffusion model. How? Step 1. Go to your account settings, access tokens, and generate a new access token with right access. When Git asks for your password, use this token. Step 2. Install Git if you don't have it. Then in your terminal, write this to clone the original repository. Step 3. Copy your model URL. Then write this line, replacing the last part with your own model URL. Step 4. Write this to upload your model. And finally, when you refresh your model page, it should look like this. Congratulations. You've uploaded your first model. Now what about a demo? Go back to Colab. Replace this model name with your model name. Rerun the code. Then in a new code block, import Gradio. Then write this function, which wraps everything we did earlier into one function call. Then call Gradio.interface with our new function, image inputs and image outputs. Launch. Now you can upload any image and generate multi-view images. If you want to host this demo so other people can use it, go back to Hugging Face. Go to New, Space, Enter a Name. Choose the Gradio Space SDK. Click Create Space. Then you just need to put the code from earlier in a file called app.py. But keep in mind, while CPU spaces are free, this model requires GPU, which you have to pay for. Alternatively, go to this demo to try it out for free and view the source files. And if you have your own GPU, you can clone it and run it locally for free. Recap, multi-view diffusion, it generates multi-view images. This is a building block of many 3D pipelines, but not all of them. The important thing to remember here isn't multi-view diffusion specifically, but the Hugging Face ecosystem. Generative 3D is changing really fast, especially in this part of the pipeline. And the easiest way to keep up is with these open source tools, which we'll be coming back to later, because in the next part, we'll be diving into something specific, Gaussian splatting.